Uh, I will look at the javelin throwing from the view of orthopedic surgeon. What is uh, javelin throwing? It's a running and after that cross steps, steps and the throwing, main throwing movements. This uh, th uh, throwing is a very rapid uh, movement chain from the foot through the body until the hand. I use uh, here uh, supporting leg means in my presentations. This is the former leg. Uh, the uh, uh, very high axial loading is uh, occurring in the uh, supporting leg, in the, all these knees, uh, uh, joints from angle knee, and especially in the hip joint. Um, the uh, tight muscles can operate as shock absorber, uh, going over uh, the um, so supporting leg uh, instead of a total stop can decrease the stress in the supporting leg. It's very important that the foot is pointing ahead, stride ahead during the throwing. Bosip injuries uh, in the supporting leg can be bone stress, uh, especially in joint areas. A lo even local uh, bone necrosis can appear, but it's not so usual. Uh, even fractures are possible. And especially if the joint is in wrong position, the uh, distortion of the joints are uh, possible. In older age, osteoarthritis and de de degenerative changes can be the problem for the uh, thrower later on. The back leg, uh, uh, this first very rapid and large abduction of the hip and strong and rapid rotation so that the right hip is turning forwards, uh, so that it turns uh, hyperextension in the hip. Uh, tight muscle is imp uh, are important uh, action in uh, shock absorption. Uh, yeah, yeah, the tight uh, muscles are doing eccentric work at that time. The possible injuries of the back leg is the distortion, especially uh, uh, in the hip, labrum injuries, and uh, sel seldom also ligament injuries in the hip joint. Uh, stretch evolution of the, uh, the muscles in tight are quite common. And uh, also, uh, distortion of the knee and ankle, yeah, ankle is uh, very possible. Uh, in older age, the osteoarthrosis of the joints can be the problem. Uh, body and back uh, are st uh, st strongly bent sideways at the beginning uh, and. Uh, uh, pathways also backwards. But uh, with uh, body rotation, uh, the pending uh, turns to the back, and uh, in the, the rotation and bending at the same time causes a very high stress uh, in the back part of the spine. Uh, the, uh, the muscles are very important to control this movement and uh, protecting the, the spine structures. 
first the body is bent sidewards and after that bending backwards and uh, and uh, the, uh, even distribution of the rotation and bending also is very important to, uh, to inhibit the possible injuries. As I said, the muscles are in important. What's the possible injuries, especially this area of the spine, is uh, uh, takes the loading of the movements. It can be the stress, stress injury, it can be a stress fracture, it can be a real fracture, and after the in older age, the degenerative changes can be a problem. It's called spondylosis of the spine. And uh, there is strong extension and rotation of the body back to the close to the neutral position, uh, which is the main uh, one of the main movement to accelerate, uh, accelerate the traveling. Uh, in this uh, phase, body muscles are very important again. But when the, uh, the movement uh, to the neutral position, then uh, the injury risk is less uh, in opposite, uh, which uh, in the very beginning of the bending. First, uh, throwing, uh, th uh, th uh, throwing arm is maximally rotated outwards in the shoulder, and um, th when the, this is uh, uh, this uh, out rotation strong is uh, repeated very many times, uh, the uh, structures in the front of the shoulder joint can stretch and injure it. Uh, the range of motion of the shoulder increases and uh, this helps also uh, appearing on the impingements on the back side of the joint causing pain for states. Um, the path of the hand varies uh, quite too much. Uh, so there is uh, more or less uh, straight or curved or a path of the hand. And uh, if this uh, makes the more curved path, then it can happen uh, that uh, the hand is going far from the head. And uh, this is very important as we see later on it. Uh, Uh, it's, uh, it's uh, later on the, uh, this elbow, uh, which is the hand. It's uh, closer to the head or far from the head. And uh, um, to, to that the throwing is successful, the um, supporting structures of the shoulder should be in good condition to give the help for the muscles. Uh, to make a very effect, uh, effective acceleration. If the uh, structure on the front of the joint is too loose, uh, it's, uh, the effectiveness of the throwing is uh, decreased. The velocity of the hand is uh, 90 to 100 kilometers per hour. And the hand should be stopped uh, so that the hand is not following the traveler. Uh, the muscles who takes care of this mm, function is the outer rotator, infraspinatus, and teres minor muscles. And in addition, uh, teres major here and the latissimus dorsi muscles. And the back part of the deltoid muscle. They take care of that stopping the arm, 
uh, after the giving off. Um, but in the juries of the show, there are uh, instability of the joint. It means that there is no good uh, support in, in the front of the uh, shoulder joint. Uh, it's too loose. The uh, luxation can happen during the throwing, but not so often. But however, uh, this is in internal impingement on the back, side, in back part of the or shoulder joint is very uh, usual painful state in the uh, throwers. And uh, if the stop, uh, stop uh, arm stopper muscles are weak, uh, the stretch injuries of the these muscles of their tendons are very common. And this is also pain, very painful state, uh, inhibiting effectively the good throwing. Uh, if this uh, is chronic, this um, backside of the stretch, stretch injuries, uh, then the scarring of the back joint capsule is uh, very uh, uh, common and uh, it, it limits uh, the range of motion and gives pains throwing. throwing. So the stroke close to the head uh, is um, uh, better from the uh, um, or elbow view or front. And uh, uh, in that case, the no. uh, the movement in the elbow, elbow is, uh, uh, is hinged joint and it's more physiological. But if the channel uh, is goes mm, uh, far from the head, then the elbows the stress will be much more, as he can hear, see, the inner side is in uh, stressed very uh, high, and uh, this tip of the olecran bone does not hit into the fossa, but instead it hits uh, on the ridge of the fossa and causing impingement. And, uh, and uh, with the time, uh, this um, extra bone is appearing on the uh, edge of the fossa and on the uh, uh, olecranon bone. It's, uh, it's causing a chronic impingement and painful state and the, the limitation of the range of motion of the elbow. So in the, in the sign, this uh, joint ligament is usually the most problematic. Uh, it's uh, not so often, uh, not, not so often which uh, ruptured or insufficient, uh, allowing the uh, valgus uh, um, movement in the elbow, which causes the impingement in the olecranon on fossa. And uh, the end, uh, resu uh, result can be the osteoarthrosis in older age. Uh, how to pre prevent these uh, problematic states uh, in, in the body and in the extremities? It's possible to inhibit them. Uh, there's uh, for the thrower, it's uh, very important to make a very uh, to have a good throw, the long, very long throw. Uh, the best result is um, re reached by optimal uh, movement chain. And uh, uh, if the throwing uh, path is uh, optimal, it's also uh, uh, more, uh, less uh, uh, danger for, uh, 
from the view of re risk of injuries. So the uh, two different target, but same doing. We try to find optimal movement. But how to find it? We can approximately uh, ev evaluate uh, the uh, path of the throwing uh, on the base of wi video nowadays, uh, especially if we take the uh, look at the best throws. Uh, if the throwing is bad, then we can uh, compare with the uh, good throwing and then we can evaluate which probably does not belong to the optimal movement chain. Uh, muscles uh, generate kinematic energy. They are used, as you know, accelerating the movement which give the uh, velocity of the travel. And uh, but uh, when the effector muscles are uh, working, also the, we need muscles which balance the uh, movement chains. They, uh, they are co oppositing, acting and side working muscles. But also it's uh, the, the attenuating movements of the body is also needed and also the hits of the foreign objects against the body or extremities. Uh, this is all these are important muscle function. Uh, um <coughs> uh, there is uh, throwing is very rapid movement as said before. The control of this kind of ma uh, uh, movements are uh, controlled automatically with automatic program in the brain. We are not uh, making control uh, with uh, thinking, are we doing it right or not? It's so rapid, it's so impossible. Uh, if we repeat this uh, good uh, uh, throw, uh, in the brain, the um, uh, automatic pro uh, program is um, uh, stored, which is uh, very good uh, for uh, to get the um, optimal uh, uh, path. But if we repeat bad throws, uh, the bad automatic program is, is stored in the brain. W uh, if we repeat these bad throws very, very many times, this uh, bad automatic program is very, he is very strong in the brain and it's very difficult after that to uh, carry out the right movement chain. So it should be advised all kind of uh, f uh, bad throwings. A uh, painful state uh, anywhere in the body or extremities can uh, disturb the mu muscle function. Uh, it's, uh, so, especially when the movement, uh, movement is rapid, the uh, disturbance uh, causes uh, very easily the wrong, bad movements. So, uh, so long as uh, you have a painful state in the body or extremities, uh, it's better to advise uh, this uh, heavy throwing. It's better to use uh, to make s s some other training. So, this uh, vicious cycle, when there is decreased control. Uh, because of, of, of pain, then uh, this uh, causes more pain, which causes uh, um, the, uh, decreased muscular training because of the pain, and then the muscles are weakened, and the weakened muscle does not control good the throwing. 
uh, optimal uh, movement in the throwing uh, needs uh, optimal uh, cooperation of the over 20 muscles in the shoulder area. The correct balance is very important uh, because uh, they, um, as uh, we are looking uh, later on, uh, later on the, it is uh, very important that the muscles are uh, strong enough to clear their job during throwing. Muscle can't be tired, can't be uh, uh, can be weak. If you uh, look at uh, the training methods, uh, the weight training, which uh, we are us usually training effector muscles for power, because the effector muscles power is the, um, it is uh, very important to accelerate the javelin. But uh, that the movement is good, the other muscles function is also very important. Uh, this effector muscle training results very easily the muscle imbalance, because here only some muscles are trained and the other are not having any exercise. So only throwing can the muscles uh, increase the power balanced, balanced uh, uh, so that the older muscles are uh, the older muscles power are increased in optimal related uh, re to each other. If uh, we try to throw with lesser power, the optimal uh, movement chain is possible because all muscles can clear their job. But if we try to throw str with stronger power, weak muscles does not clear and the optimal movement is uh, impossible in that case. So it's... Uh, the movement chain is uh, disturbed and uh, result is bad and the uh, in injury risk is very high. So it's very important to have the muscle balance. Uh, how to get the right balance? The power training is diverse. Uh, but uh, uh, power pa um, training, which is specific to javelin throwing, is uh, uh, needed. Uh, for instance, shot throwing. So, uh, throwing movements. Uh, if we throw the shot with the right part of the hand, so uh, every muscles with taking, uh, which are taking part to the throwing, are. Um, Incre uh, they are turning better in right uh, uh, magnitude. But uh, the shot throwing does not grow the stopping force, which is very important to advise injuries. Uh, the shock options uh, are functioning. So they are stopping uh, rotation of the body in throwing. They are uh, stopping whole moment of the um, thrower, uh, uh, which, uh, in which process of supporting rex is very important. And uh, um, the uh, shock absorbers are stopping the swing of the upper, upper extremity uh, after the. Uh, throwing. Uh, this attenuating uh, work of muscle is a little bit um, difficult because most mus muscle should contract and stretch during the same time. It's more in, 
a demanding uh, function than uh, concentric uh, uh, work. This eccentric mus muscle contact is uh, more demanding. It should be trained so that uh, uh, eccentric work is functioning well. The concentric training is not enough. Um, uh, this uh, eccentric muscle function is fine cooperation between the nervous system and muscles. Uh, these uh, attenuating um, mus muscles should be uh, strong enough to uh, clear their job, but uh, they should also function well, with, uh, which means that the cooperation of nervous system and muscles should be uh, functioning well. If this uh, attenuation function fails, uh, then the, the movement is going on and uh, kinematic energy is affecting uh, supporting structures of the body and extremities and cause very likely injuries. The results are painful states at least, uh, stress injuries or even ruptures and fractures. Why that kind of work fails? Because the training may be focused too much effector muscles. This is very common M error I postulate. Shock absorber muscles are too weak. They, uh, they are not, not uh, uh, trained uh, plenty enough. Uh, these can be tired. Uh, we, uh, if uh, anybody is throwing uh, several times and uh, the sub absorb ma ma muscles can be weak, they can be tired quite easy. And in that case, is too many throwing is bad thing. Uh, if you think of what's it, the optimal atten attenuation work, the, the concentric and the eccentric training both are needed. Um, eccentric, concentric training is increased the power, the eccentric training uh, makes the function better, the attenuation function better. Yeah, again, the painful states can disturb the muscle functions significantly. Again, a visual cycle. Uh, if there is decreased attenuation, it causes increased pain or increased uh, injuries which means that uh, the muscles are, uh, the power of muscles is decreased and they can't, uh, the weaken it, uh, weaken it muscles can't uh, uh, make the uh, attenuation function good enough. Uh, some injuries uh, can be treated non-operatively, which uh, are upper in the Chavonin some needs operative treatment. Some injuries uh, cannot treat it effectively, effectively enough if we are thinking uh, competing Chavonin throwing uh, going on. Maybe uh, the problem is too big to continue to compete. Uh, some injuries causes uh, cause uh, permanent in, uh, trouble, and some injuries causes trouble in older age, as I have already said. Uh, body rotation training, this uh, concentric training, which uh, uh, increase the power. This is one example how to do that. It's, uh, this is only rotation, not the bending. It's quite safe. And it's important to, to make the rotation so even as possible. 
for the whole spine. And uh, in Atkinson training, the weight is topped with the muscles. And the uh, adductor muscles and the um, muscles on the front of the tight and abdomen can be mm, uh, trained also uh, um, eccentric, uh, eccentrically. And naturally, uh, also uh, the concentric training is possible, but this is the important for them to in inhibit them. Uh, 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 injuries uh, during uh, very strong distortion in, in the hip area. Um, and then uh, this also this uh, supporting leg training is uh, quite easy to use uh, and because uh, uh, this, this is the uh, uh, leg, uh, tight muscles, they can uh, function as sub absorber and inhibit the, uh, or decrease the stress in the joint. Uh, but however, the muscle should be uh, strong enough so that the supporting function for, for the throwing is good enough. And uh, this is. Uh, important training to, to do an O-Dog, this is uh, used, uh, doing o always when anybody is throwing. And stoppers can be mm, also uh, trained. Uh, a, a concentric training uh, increased power, this uh, outwards rotator, and this is the is latissimus um, dorsi and teres major and delta muscles training. And uh, we, when we are pulling, pulling with two arms and breaking with one uh, arm, uh, then it's possible to uh, uh, make an eccentric training for the st stopper muscles, which is very important. And uh, this is very, uh, I think this is one of the uh, com commonest injuries in the, uh, the problems in the uh, uh, javelin thrower. This, this train is uh, made too, too less, uh, too uh, little. And the how to bend the spine evenly, this is a little bit uh, more uh, difficult than the rotation, because if you bend the muscle, uh, the spine, the uh, that part of the spine which is loose bends more than the uh, that part of the spine which is uh, mm, no, not so loose. But if you are bending like this, then the spine is bending evenly and you can uh, take care that the spine is bending evenly during the throwing. It's very important to in if we try to inhibit the injuries in throwing. Thanks you. And uh, however, if we do our best, the javelin throwing has a prize.